Welcome to myprojectbazaar.com Our project title Stamp Enabling Privacy Preserving Location Proof for Mobile Users Our project abstract Location based service are quickly becoming immensely popular in addition to service based on users Current location many potential services rely on users location history or their spatial temporal provenance malicious users may lie about their spatial temporal provenance without a carefully designed security system for users to prove their past location on this paper we present the spatial temporal provenance assurance with a mutual proof scheme that's called stamp stamp is designed for ad hoc mobile users generating location proof for each other in non distributed settings However, it can easily accommodate a trusted mobile users and wireless access points. Stamp ensures the integrity and the non-transferability of the location proofs, and protects users' privacy. A semi-trusted certification authority is used to distribute cryptographic keys as well as guard users against collusion by a lightweight entropy-based trust evaluation approach. Our prototype implementation on the Android platform shows that. Stamp is low cost in terms of computation and storage resources. Extensive simulation experiments shows that our entropy based that trust model is able to achieve high collision detection accuracy. And then location based services based on users. Currently location many potential services rely on users location histories or their spatial temporal provenance. Malaysia user may lie about their spatial temporal provenance without a carefully designed security systems for users to prove their past location stamp is designed for ad hoc mobile users and a previously of location generation for each other in distributed settings semi trust certification is used for distributed cryptographic key as well as guard users against a collision by lightweight entropy based trust evaluation approach our data flow diagram in this process of the users in we must uh, select the previous uh, past proofs related to the users and the data can be transmitted in later first the users and the later uh, registration can be done in this location register the location register mentioned that the related base station which can be connected with the users uh, and after the user updation can be done and the station status can be mentioned in the status uh, they mentioned that the if the user is an active user or an inactive user so this mentioned that the Related to the behavior and the behavior mentioned that are related to the user habits that are transfer the data from one user to another users. After that, the verification and validation the database can be carried out. In this process, the verification validation can be done related to the users combined to transmit the data from multiple users. If the users makes the data transmission from one to another, they it can carry out multiple users database. And the access can be provided to access the past proofs uh, with the data, and the reliable uh, data log file can be generated with the access uh, of the multiple users. Uh, to that, the admin can be provided. In the admin, it mentions that the users list and the users uh, selection. In the users list that mention that the last uh, generations of the past proofs of the users and the data transmission that can be carried with the secure transmissions of uh, multiple users for a particular user. So the user selection can be done in the user selection the mapping concept can be mentioned that the the proofs of the, the logs generation for the particular data so for the particular users the data can be transmitted and it mentioned that the the past proofs cannot be accessed by another user so to mention for a secure uh, transmissions of data and the user location can be mentioned that the, the user can access the base station from a particular uh, locations to Transmit the particular data for a particular user. So our project demo for a stamp enabling privacy preserving location proof for lo mobile users. So first, we want to right click on home.java and click on run file. The process is going on. It has been mentioned that the, it can be sh mentioned in the here. And here it mentioned that the system connector. It mentioned that the the VAMP server we are using as a database for a VAMP server. The VAMP server and the NetBeans. This can be run and related to the NetBeans and it can be connected. It can be shown here. This is a home page. 
click anywhere on the home page and this is our login page in the login page if you are a new user click on new user and make a registration for using certain name using the ID and the certain uh, details can be filled up and the certain details can be filled and the email can be verified and after the, the registration the certain uh, user id to make uh, make ensure of a certain logins uh, or secure login login can be verified after that the, the process can be carried related to the users uh, and the username can be mentioned here this is the username that can be entered during the registration and the location can be mentioned here to generate the past location proof if i mention the three this is the user i'm giving the access to access my past proof locations after that the, the file can be chosen the secret key can be generated this key can be no noted by the users uh, to make a certain secure login in it. Uh, this uh, key can be verified uh, during the registration of the process and the verification of the new users to share the past proof locations uh, in it. Uh, if the key can, uh, can be entered wrongly, the data can, cannot be get by the users. Uh, and after that the key can be assigned and the request can be sent to the server and right click on the server.java and click on run file and the data can be received by the users why here we encrypt is to make a certain secure to the certain processor and the data can be sent to the server and the uploader process can be accessed. This can be sent by making the certain request and response. The response can be sent by a server to for the user to make a certain upload. And the assigned and the details can be stored in it. Here is the process end by the single users and the proof can be generated in it and it can be stored in the database. After that the again the certain login can be run. In the login page the certain users can be on the user id we have mentioned that the, this is the username we have assigned for that uh, and these users can make a certain download in it uh, and these uh, files can be assigned and the certain proof can be generated and the request can be sent uh, here is the, the key can be mentioned in it uh, i entered in the key and it makes us a certain uh, key can be verification and the validation in it uh, and the waiting for the response and the click on client server to run on it uh, and the request can be received uh, and it sends the process to the provider here is the process can be received by the provider and sent to the client to access the certain file uh, and the file can be get uh, uh, here is the under the provider it can be decrypted if the last proof cannot be verified uh, and it cannot be matched by the this users uh, the data cannot be decrypted in it uh. and after that the download access can be provided and the file can be downloaded and uh, saved in it for by using any certain numbers uh. and the file can be downloaded thanks for listening